if you get turned down from a company or like anything do not feel some type of way like it's okay because i'm telling you right now that you are the sh Today I have a story time to tell y'all. It's currently 8.46 a.m. on the day that you're watching this, so Sunday. I wanted to get it out and upload it today, so yeah, that's why I'm up filming it right now. There's my dog. I'm not doing my hair today. No, I'm not. Let's just get into this video. We're gonna start from the beginning, okay? So first of all, every month I DM or email companies. So I usually like come up with like a copy and paste message in my notes copy it paste it that go put the message right here that i sent this month but keep in mind when i do these i usually reach out to companies that have close to the same like amount of followers or subscribers i have this go around was like it was smooth i got a couple responses actually so that's fun I get a response from this one company i'm not gonna say the name of the company but her response was <coughs> So I went through your criteria and it shows you only have 117 followers and less than 60 views on YouTube on each video. Which is true. As I don't see your credibility. Maybe you have demogra demographics to show me different. This is the part that kind of just rubbed me wrong about it. Let's Google the definition of credibility real quick. The quality of being trusted and believed in and it's like being able to persuade somebody to do something okay the number of followers i have doesn't equal credibility I'm credible enough to gain 600 plus subscribers i'm credible enough to have people watch my videos every time i post oh the sun is coming out y'all see like lines then i apologize if you want to just say like oh you don't have enough followers then just say that but my thing is like i hate to be this person okay her page literally has 576 followers on instagram all of her hair posts have like 12 15 likes we basically are on the same wavelength but i'm not credible so that means you're not credible either i hate to think that way but like to go on she says if not i cannot consider business would you make the time thank you for reaching out to us you can always purchase from blah blah, blah. basically vouched for myself sent her screenshots from my insides or whatever and then after that i sent her and also wig slash weave videos do better on youtube so the video would get views regardless like and that's true and then also i sent but i understand if you don't want to work with me it's cool so <clears throat> so yeah y'all that was it for this video message to all the small youtubers or like businesses entrepreneurs or whatever if you get turned down from a company or like anything do not feel some type of way like it's okay because i'm telling you right now that you are the sh don't let nobody tell you otherwise because you got this and when you blow up they're gonna want to have little partnerships or whatnot and you're just gonna cut them off like no sorry boo. Don't take anything too personal. I kind of took this personal because this was the first time my brand ever, like, like rejected me in that matter. But, like, from now on, I won't because, like, obviously I learned from this experience. Go follow all my social medias at night and die on all platforms. Yeah, see y'all tomorrow, maybe. Right, you can film a video. Bye.